Eight years ago, Noland Arbo was leading a normal life. But soon that changed. He met with a diving accident. His body was paralyzed. He could not move any body part below the shoulder. Arbo had accepted his fate. But this year, his life changed once again. He played chess, not with his hands, but with his brain. Sounds like a, a scene out of Star Wars. But it was just plain old science. Arbo was the first human to trial Neuralink's brain chip. It's Elon Musk's neurotechnology firm. Arbo was given the chip in February. He says the surgery was easy. Since then, he's tested the chip many times. Once, he even played a video game for eight hours with this chip. But now the technology has hit a glitch. Within a month, the implant started detaching. Its threads began to retract. And that impacted the functionality. Now, no one knows why this happened. Neuralink did not explain why. But they did put out a blog post. They said while the device did detach, scientists have since refined the implant. Basically, they're saying all is well. But is it really? Let's look at the company first. Neuralink was co-founded by Elon Musk in 2016. The goal was quite simple. Build communication between the human brain and computers. Musk wanted to supercharge human capabilities. The goals were lofty to begin with. Controlling devices with thoughts, treating neurological disorders, and building a relationship between humans and AI. How does it work? The technology works through an implant. It's called the link. That's the link in the neural link. The device is really tiny, about the size of five coins stacked together. A robot drills a hole in your skull. The chip is implanted in your brain. The hardware has electrodes. It records neural activity and stimulates specific regions of the brain. What happens then? Your thoughts can now control your phone. But before the power gets to your head, let's understand this. Wireless brain chips are not new. By the 2000s, monkeys were trained on it. They were doing the exact same thing, moving cursors with their brains, just like Arbo. But since then, the technology has not really evolved much. Neuralink wants to refine that. And at the core, the idea is quite impressive. This link allows you to trigger anything that is digital. It can be life-changing. You can search the internet with your brain or order food just with your thoughts. Imagine the power your thoughts would have. But as they say, with great power comes great responsibility, and we are not sure it's a word that Elon Musk understands. He wants to create a hype around Neuralink to make it seem like groundbreaking. And to be fair, the technology is incredulous, but it has its own set of problems. The first is viability. Neuralink says the chip is easy to install, it's a minor surgery, but it's not clear how this works in the long term. Until now, it's only been tested on animals. Human trials have just begun and they've hit a hurdle in a month. Secondly, experts fear it could damage blood vessels. And that's a big challenge. Also, Musk's goal sounds less like greater good and more like dark science fiction. He says in the future, Neuralink will be able to store and replay memories, almost like the Pensy from Harry Potter. But the brain is not a hard drive. Our memories are not videos. Neural signals are emitted during the act of remembering, but those are not the memories themselves. You can't upload your consciousness. Elon Musk makes it sound easy, but neuroscientists are on the fence about this. Also, would you be okay with a big tech CEO listening to your deepest, darkest thoughts? Sounds like the start of every sci-fi horror movie. And Neuralink, by the way, is not the only player in this arena. For a change, Elon Musk is behind the curve. Other startups have made more progress and less noise, like Synchron, a company backed by Jeff Bezos and Bill, Bill Gates. He's it has implanted rather ten, its device in 10 patients. Synchron has implanted its device in 10 patients. Researchers in Switzerland have also achieved miracles. They recently helped a paralyzed man walk. So the technology is neither new, nor has it been proven safe. Why then does Neuralink make so much news? You could say it's all thanks to Musk and his hype. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. 
South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations, and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.